and place value. This right here is called a flat, and it has 100 of those teeny tiny little cubes in it. This is a rod. It has 10 of those tiny cubes, and this is just one single one. It takes 10 of these ones to make a rod or to make a 10, and it makes 10 rods or takes 10 rods to make a flat to make 100. Now when I want to subtract and use these images, I can go ahead and start by drawing my first number. I have 265. So within that 265, I would have two hundreds or two flats, six rods, one, two, three, four, five, six, and five ones, one, two, three, four, five. Now when I'm subtracting, I don't add anything to the picture. What I want to do is take things off of the picture. I want to start with my ones, and I notice that I have eight ones. But if I look in my picture, I only have five present. I can't take away eight. So what I need to do is I need to break up one of these tens into single ones so I can take off the eight that I need. To do that, I simply cross it off and move it over to the ones. It no longer is a rod. It's now worth ten little ones. Now I can easily take away the eight ones that I need. If I cross off these five plus six, seven, and eight, I'm left with two left over here. Now I want to take away four tens. This is not one that I'm subtracting out. This was one that I borrowed, that I moved. I need to take it away an additional four. One, two, three, four. At this point, I've taken away eight ones. I've taken away four tens. Now I just need to count to see what's left over. I still have two hundreds. I only have one ten left over, and I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven ones. So in the end, my answer is 217. Let's try one that involves a little more regrouping. This time I'm taking 327, and I want to remove from it 100, 8 tens, and 9 ones. I start by drawing this bigger number. So I have 300, I have two tens, and I have seven ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. From it, I want to take away 100, eight tens, and nine ones. It doesn't really matter which one you start with when you use this strategy, but just to be consistent, I'm going to start by taking away my ones. Now my problem is, I want nine ones to take away, but I'm only given seven to work with. I need to get some more ones. The easiest way to get more ones is to take one of these ten rods and break it up into its individual pieces. So I'm going to move it over. When I move it over, it's no longer a ten. Instead, it's worth ten little ones. Now I easily have enough to take away my nine ones that I want. Here I know I have five, six, seven, eight, nine. I've crossed off my nine ones. Now I want to take away eight tens. Unfortunately, I'm only left with one ten, so I need to get some more tens. I can't get tens out of my ones. I don't even have ten of them. So the only place where I can get more of those ten rods is if I take one of these hundreds and break it up. Now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Each flat is worth ten rods or ten tens. Now I can easily take away the 8 that I need. Remember, this one was moved. It hasn't been subtracted. I need to take an additional 8 away. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now I have 100 that I need to take away. Remember, this was just moved. I haven't taken anything away yet. So if I want to take away my 100, I would have to cross this one off here. I've taken away 100, 8 tens, and 9 ones. Now I just need to see what's left over. I can see that I have 100 left over. I have 3 tens left over. And I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 ones left over. So by using my place value, I was able to figure out that 327 take away 189 left me with 138. For this next problem, I want you to try on your own. Go ahead and solve 415, take away 253, using the place value grid. You're going to want to solve it on your own, pause the video, and when you're ready to check your work, you can start the video again. 
Go ahead and pause the video now. Okay, welcome back. Let's see what you did. You should have started by drawing the big number. This is the total of what you have to start with, what you have to work with. You have four hundredths. You have one ten, and you have five ones. From that, we're taking away two hundredths, five tens, and three ones. Well, the nice thing is I have five ones. I only need to remove three of them. One, two, three. That worked out just fine. The problem when it occurs when you want to remove your five tens. You only have one ten, so you have to figure out where you can get some more tens. Well, the only place where you could get tens from would be from this hundred block. So you're going to move this hundred block. When you take that hundred block, that flat, and you break it up, you'll end up with ten of those rods. Notice you didn't count this as one of your ten. That was already there. I strictly moved this flat over here, which broke it into the ten rods. Now I can easily cross off my five tenths. One, two, three, four, five. I'm left with wanting to remove two hundreds. Remember this was just moved. I want to remove two now, so I'm going to go ahead and cross off an additional two. You look to see what's left. You have one hundred. You have one, two, three, four, five, six tenths and you're left with two ones. In the end, when you took 415 and subtracted out 253, you are left with 162. If you got that correct, you're ready to move on with further practice. If not, play this video again and see if you can pick up some more strategies. Good luck.